Hey guys, it's Lance at Max Sound Solutions, and today I'm doing a quick product review on the Zyke Drive USB 4 NVMe enclosure from Zyke Tech. And I gotta say, it's built like a tank. It's super easy to just put in an NVMe. I'm putting in a Team Group 2 terabyte NVMe in, link in the description. These are really reasonably priced, very fast NVMe's. And uh, you just pop it in and close the lid and you don't need any tools at all so you could swap out nvmes really easily with this enclosure and it comes with a nice little usb-c cable rated at 40 gigabits per second which tucks right into the enclosure and they also supply you with a longer usb-c cable which is a nice touch it supports thunderbolt and usb4 and they were nice enough to give me a 20 percent off code for my subscribers so use that at checkout link in the description. So let's put it to the test and see if it lives up to the hype. So first up, I'm copying files from my M2 MacBook Air's internal hard drive to the external Zyke drive, and you can see it's moving super fast, three gigs a second. 686 gigs is gonna copy in under four minutes. That's insane. I'll just speed the rest of this up, but you get the point, it's super fast. And to compare, here's my internal M2 MacBook Air's SSD, which is getting around 3,000 megabytes per second read and write. And here's the Zyk drive connected to the MacBook Air, and it's getting basically the same speeds. That's impressive. I also connected it to my Mac Pro 2019, and it wasn't quite as fast, but still pretty impressive speeds, and the fact that the Mac Pro, also the internal 2TB SSD, pretty much had identical speeds once again. And it's Apple Silicon versus Intel, and USB 4 versus Thunderbolt 3. So for the drive to work at its top speeds, you really need an Apple Silicon Mac, or a PC with Thunderbolt 4 slash USB 4. And here's the Zyke drive connected directly to my Sonnet McFiber card via the USB-C port, and I'm getting about 1,000 megabytes per second read and write. And that's because of the limitation of USB 3.2. It's 10 gigabits, not 40 gigabits. The drive supports up to 40 gigabits, but if you connect it to a slower port, then it's going to get slower speeds. And here we're getting about 1,000 megabytes per second. So the Zyk drive paired with a good NVMe is really about the fastest external storage in a single enclosure that you can get. And there are others out there. This thing is really well built and I've had no issues with it whatsoever. And it's good at dissipating heat as well because as we know, NVMEs can get very hot. So it's got a thermal pad. Uh, I did add my own thermal pad underneath the NVMe and uh, it fit very well well doing that. And just for fun, I wanted to see if I could boot Mac OS and Windows off the Zyke drive externally with my Mac Pro 2019. And I was able to boot both OSs, but there was a bit of a catch. You can see me here, I'm partitioning the drive. I'm making a Mac OS partition, and then I'm also making a partition in XFAT for Windows. And what happened was I was able to boot Mac OS externally with the Zyke drive using the Thunderbolt ports on the back and the top of my 2019 Mac Pro. Windows, however, would not boot from those ports. It had to be connected to USB only. So if I connected the Zyke drive to the USB-A port on the back of the 2019 Mac Pro, which is only five gigabits, so you're really throttling down down the drive's capability, it did boot into Windows. And I was also able to boot into Windows off the 10 gigabit USB-C ports on the McFiber, which are USB 3.2. And you know, you're getting about a thousand megabytes per second read and write there, but it's not giving you the full speeds that you can get with the drive. The other thing I found is that even in Mac OS, when connected to the Thunderbolt ports and booting externally, the write speeds are oddly slow, 750 megabytes per second. The read speeds are where they should be, but the write speeds are slow. And I think that's got something to do with Mac OS and it's not the drive's fault. So for another test, I used my M2 MacBook Air and I booted directly off the Zyke drive and I'm getting double the write speeds than I was with the 2019 Mac Pro. 
Which is strange. They really should be getting the exact same speeds or very close to it. This is Apple Silicon compared to Intel, but it just seems like there's something funny going on. And I just got a brand new Mac Studio to test out. So I tested out the Zyke drive with it and it was getting its full speeds when I was booting off the Zyke drive. So I don't know what's going on with Mac OS and different computers, but with the very fast Mac Studio, it's getting its full speeds as it should, whether I'm booting off it or just using it as a data drive. But the internal Mac Studio drive gets almost 7,000 megabytes per second write and 5,500 megabytes per second read. So Apple is doing some trickery here with their different models. My guess is they don't want you to use an external drive and get the same performance as the internal. They want you to fork out the cash for those fast, overpriced internal SSDs. It'll be interesting to test this with the brand new Macs that just came out with the M4 chip and Thunderbolt 5. I also forgot to mention that the Zyke has a nice little blinking LED on the back so you know data's being written to it. I prefer that over drives that don't have an LED and it's very small and not overly bright like some of those LEDs can be. So that basically sums it up for the Zyke drive. You know, it's gonna vary on what NVMe you put in there, but there's really no point in putting one that's rated at a higher speed than USB 4 can handle. And honestly, the boot quirks when you're booting off the Zyke drive, I don't think that has anything to do with the NVMe or the Zyke enclosure itself. I think it has to do with Mac OS. And I'd love to hear from you guys if you're using a Thunderbolt or a USB 4 enclosure to boot your Mac off of, what kind of write speeds are you getting? So leave a comment and let me know. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me that thumbs up. And if you're interested in purchasing the Zyk drive, you can get a 20% discount with my discount code. Link in the description. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you on the next Mac Sound Solutions video.